And it's opening night for the film Joker as KPIX 5's Kristen Ayers shows us San Francisco isn't taking any chances amid security concerns. Tonight, moviegoers we spoke to had mixed feelings about the stepped up security. Some said it made sense, others said it was simply too much. Tonight, Joker premiered to small crowds and little fanfare at the Marina's Presidio Theater. The only danger is falling asleep. It's like pretty slow. But law enforcement sees a bigger threat with this film. People are starting to notice. Seven years after a man dressed as the Joker shot and killed 12 people at a Colorado movie theater during the Dark Knight movie. Landmark theaters banned costumes and face paint at Joker. San Francisco police plan to patrol theaters showing the film tonight. We found two units parked on the same block as the Presidio Theater. They're just concerned that uh, of a copycat situation. The FBI is also monitoring websites and social media for threats. KPIX 5 security analyst Jeff Harp says their work could stop a potential killer. In the past, you know, a lot of these shooters have, they've posted uh, things on social media. But moviegoers we talked to were torn about the extra security. Overkill. You can like have security at a movie theater, but it can happen down the street in a supermarket. It's better safe than sorry, right? Harp says the takeaway here is to keep alert no matter where you are. And as cliche as it sounds, if you see something, say something. In San Francisco, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5. And tonight, Warner Brothers is saying, quote, neither the fictional character, Joker, nor the film is an endorsement of real world violence of any kind.